Alright, so last episode, we ended off by getting this, when we were supposed to be making, um, you know what I mean. What's it called? <laughs> I don't even remember. Dude, how am I supposed to be doing this when I don't even remember what I was making? It's called a transmutation device, actually. Yep, that's what it is. So, we need a transmutation device because, well, it's just something we need. Kinda, kinda don't know how to explain it more than, well, we need to make more shrubidium. And you get that through stranium, which you can then crystallize, and then process, and then you'll be happy for the rest of your days, because it's infinite shrubidium from here, boys. No more of that 500 uranium later nonsense. But, here's the important part. We got this stuff. We gotta try this on. <laughs> oh my gosh. So... With my actual regular armor, you can see I have liquidator metals on it, which, I mean, pretty useful for decontaminating and all of that. However, for a combat armor, we will need to have the actual servos removed from this. I'm not sure about the shackles. Well, I mean, I guess the shackles are kind of important for a combat armor, aren't they? Uh, and also from this guy, yeah, that's basically it. So, but this armor also makes you fireproof, doesn't it? Yes, it does! Oh, this is my new, new armor, bro. New armor, bro. Oh, uh, let me put on this helmet real quick so I can decontaminate. <laughs> oh my gosh. But this is gonna make us really fast, dude. So, what I can do is I can take... This piece, I'm going to put on all of its attachments, like so. And I need to make sure to get a meteor charm. So let's go ahead and make a meteor charm. Wait. Oh, I was like, did I get the other thing on there? Yeah, I did. Okay. Put that stuff on. Uh, Let's go ahead and get this guy equipped. Perfect. Put that stuff on there. And uh, I guess it's helmet and other thing. So we could get two more of those decontamination charms, which I mean, that'd be kind of useful to have. Look at this, we got 20 health. We have the ability to, uh, it's not actually making us very fast. That's weird. Is this just not, this is not a power armor, is it? Step size. Um, I feel like we run faster, but I feel like we don't run faster. Uh, do we run faster with this or the other stuff? I got- having two sets of armor is gonna be weird. Two sets of armor is gonna be weird, but it's gonna happen this way. So this is gonna be our radiation suit from now on, basically. So, whenever we need to do anything radioactive, we'll wear these guys. And, uh, I mean, yeah. But this will be your combat suit. So, nice to have. It's got everything we need. It's got shackles, which are actually bad. <laughs> it's got our energy shield, which we can probably make another one. They aren't too expensive, so if we want to have, you know, the HEV on, could come in handy. To be honest, I feel like I'm just going to take off all the stuff from the HEV armor and just put it onto my current armor, and then I'm just going to go from there. Uh, if we ever need to do anything with Balefire, that's when this HEV will come in handy again, but... Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I like this better. Wait, let's go ahead and test our jump height. Uh, we can jump about da, da, da. three blocks. Three blocks is about as high as we were able to jump before. Let's go ahead and check that. Yeah, we're barely able to jump three blocks, which is perfect. That is good. And uh, step size is plus one. So like when I step this way, it sh it sh we should be like walking a larger distance, right? So, like, one step, or let me just press the W key for, like, two seconds. Instead of using the remote. Okay, I don't know. So, this says we get faster reload and more ammo. And you're all probably wondering, what does more ammo mean? And I'm also wondering the same thing, so. Reloading. Doesn't seem to take as much. Here, let's fire, like, two shots. Reloading. Took out two shots. Fire a shot. Reloading. Seems a little bit faster. It doesn't consume as much ammo. That time it didn't consume a bullet. Okay, so that's how that works. <laughs> that is pretty useful. 
I'm not gonna lie. And uh, this thing, holding it when you open crates is not 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 um ideal. And those are some massive shells, by the way. It's 50 BMG, <laughs> of course. Oh, hang on. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Step size sounds like it should make you walk farther, not give you controls auto jump. Which doesn't exist in this version, by the way. This is, like, actually kind of annoying. I don't always want to be jumping up on blocks. Uh, but I think it's done better than, like, the actual Mojang auto-jump feature or whatever. Wait, what? Did you all see that? That was... Wait a second, dude. Parkour Master! <laughs> Ooh. Me likey this armor. Me enjoy it. But, uh, we got work to do. Let's get to work. Hop to it. So, we're heading over to the Shredder. That's what we need to go to. Uh, how far I could go down the stairs? Okay, let's go down these stairs here. Down here. Shredder. Hey, bruh. Need you to shred my these bars. You got it? Oh, you better knock that off. I really want to get another key. Because... We saw how good these keys can be. I've always said, these keys, they don't give you good stuff, but, uh, they gave me Trench Master Armor. They literally just gave me Trench Master Armor. Like, what? 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 This never happens. This, my luck is terrible. How the heck are we getting Trench Master Armor? <laughs> the, the only armor you can't craft. Well, actually, probably there's probably more that you can't craft. You know what? You probably can't ca craft the DNT armor. Well, I'm, that's that's not even a funny joke. That's just insulting, honestly. And nobody's gonna understand that. <laughs> it's just an insult that nobody's gonna understand, Bruh. <laughs> Compound plates. Listen up. That is the sound of victory. That click right there. Boom. And we got gas these steel plates. It's 27 divided by 2 is 9. That's math for you. Using crayons. I, I did that using crayons. Okay? Math. Crayon. Anyway, we just gotta wait on this guy. Do, 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 do. What do y'all wanna do while we're waiting? Uh, you wanna talk about my meteorite sword with 175 attack damage, dude? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. How... All right, there's enough. There's enough. We got twelve. We got. I, you know what? We're just gonna keep going with it. We're gonna. We're gonna go ahead and process this for here. Make shrubidium machine. Yeah. Wait. There's one more step that we're missing, fellas. But I will take care of that. So don't you worry. All right. We gotta make the transmutation device, right? The tr Tasmania device. Tasmania. It's in Australia. Actually, no, it isn't. It's connected to all. No, it's an island next to Australia. There you go. Well, I mean, it's technically, it's still part of. I think it's part of Australia. I'm not, I'm not Australian. Why would? Why am I talking about Australia? Shut up, dude. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> oh, the daily yawn. <laughs> it's gonna happen once a day, bro. You'll be yawning with me too, soon enough, don't you worry. Okay. Where are we gonna set this thing up? Because this is a bit of a process. So, the Shrubidium setup is gonna go. I mean, I guess I could put it here, right? And nobody's gonna mind if I put it there. Okay, let's grab some cable. Cable television. <laughs> That's not funny. Shut up. <laughs> We're getting to the point where we might be needing to go to a meteor dungeon pretty soon. Not gonna lie. Oh, come on. I could've used that at some point. Bruh. 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 Where's the cable, bruh? I'm getting used to this weird jumping mechanic. My thingy. Gah. Grab some, grab some cable. So, this machine is actually the most energy-consuming machine that we have. 
Besides the actual process of, well, converting what it makes into crystals, and then converting the crystals into ingots of plutonium and other lovely items. Very, very good items, actually. In fact, Neptunium, Neptunium is the best ingot for the custom nuke, giving you a total of 30 to the custom stoop or custom nuke, nuclear stage, and you can stack it. So if you stack this ingot on top of itself over and over again, like 15 ingots in there, then boom, it's really compact versus a rod, which is, you know, not as compact. Uh, I wish the Neptunium block would just, like if you have a block of Neptunium and shove that in there, I should probably give you some custom nuke stuff, honestly. Honestly, wish you make custom nukes that like completely destroy the planet, like instantly, that'd be amazing. Remove limits. <laughs> Uh, but no. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. That would be stupid, though. That would be dumb. Come on, let's go. Okay. What's going on? Uh, yes. Red coil capacitor. Ready for it. Red coil capacitor. This is the next thing we need to make. On our list of things that we have to make. It, this could be kind of annoying. However, this is not very annoying. We're just going to go ahead and do it. And get it done and over with. Because if you do that, nothing can be annoying. Just get it done and forget about it. Won't be annoying if you do it. It will be more annoying if you don't do it. Keep that in mind. It's good life advice. Costing three gold plates. So, let's take a look around and see if we got our gold here. No, we don't. So, I'm going to go run over to the place and get the gold. And all the other stuffs and things that we're gonna need, because apparently I don't have it over there. Also, can we make? Whoa, what's going on here? We uh, almost. Yeah, we're almost. Actually, we're almost done with that. That is pretty nice. What is going on here? Oh, dude, it's gonna overflow at some point. Hey, what's going on here? You're uh, just doing coal. Well, we need sulfuric acid. No, we don't. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take out our wonderful stuffs and things. I actually, I want to do, I do want to look at something else because there's something I might want to make in the future. Uh, power armor. Notably, which of these are good? Because this guy's good. And what's his radiation resistance? It's eight. And he might even be better than this guy. I don't know, but we could eventually make this guy. It's not that hard. We already have the two Ale Alexandrite uh, legendary parts. Ugh! Chain steel! <laughs> nah! Nah, never again! No, 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 no! <laughs> uh, I don't want to ever make this again, dude. But you could just make it from s'mores. So. S'more ingot. No! You're kidding me. Why the heck does it need s'mores? Oh, it does the s'mores like opposite of bismuth. Legendary part. S'more ingot. S'more ingot. What, what? How do you even get the s'more ingot? Oh. Marshmallow on a stick. You can't even get marshmallow on a stick. Dang it. Not that I wanted to try making that anyway. I mean, I was just thinking about it. And uh, it was something I, that's been on my mind for a bit. Making that armor. Because it, it's actually pretty good. Pretty good. But, um, uh, expensive. <laughs> costly. Iron shot is not costly. And, uh, I mean, it's just good armor, but... I'm gonna have to use Bismuth for that. Alright, let's get back to it. One of the things we're gonna need in bulk when we go to make the fusion reactor is gonna be two things. Steel. Right? Like, actually loads of steel. And, well, I mean... Low on steel, aren't no. Whoa, 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 whoa. No organization. Put that right next to the other steel crate, like so, dudes. What the heck are we doing if we're just stacking our steel plates and our steel boxes in just random places? Ah, uh, yes. I just now realized that in order to make the red coil capacitor, we're going to need just more than just one of these, and uh, we're probably gonna want multiple. Actually, you don't want multiple red coil capacitors. You can do it with one. Still, you're not going to be using them forever. Don't use the red coil capacitor forever. 
the actual fact that we're able to walk up a block is getting actually annoying. Because sometimes you just don't want to step up a block. I don't, I don't know why step size isn't just making you step an extra block. That'd be funny. Like, I go, like, two blocks instead of one block? That would be fun. It'd make me feel like I'm lagging or something. I'm rubber banding, guys. Rubber banding. Oh, my gosh, dude. The lag is unreal. Uh, let's get back to this. And get on... Get, stop getting sidetracked. Uh, do we need to make some of this. How much of that? Don't know. Uh... One, two, three, four. Four should do. Fuse is a tungsten wire. Okay, easy peasy stuff. And, uh, redstone block? Easy peasy. Trust me, bro. It's the easiest stuff you've ever seen. Let's see if we got any tungsten wire, though. Yep, we do got tungsten wire. Okay. Steel plate. Do it. Good. And shove everything in the box. And it looks like, don't care how it put in there. Just go in there and do stuff. You shall do with the stuff and things. Redstone. Powder. Or as the French call it, Poudre de Redstone. Or Powdre de Redstone or something. I don't know, they say it like RE or something. RE. I don't know. My gosh, there's a dead meme, dude. <laughs> there's a dead meme. Okay, get back to it. Show those. Put stuff in the bin. One, two, three. We're missing the other stuffs. Because I haven't made it yet. It's kind of annoying. Right. Ah! Wait, what? I need six of them. Oh. Brainwave. Right. Okay, I see how it is. One, two, three, four. Just, just for good measure, right? Good, good measure. Always make four, because this way, when you need, when you don't need eight, you'll have eight. <laughs> this is <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, that is everything. That will all go under the year, and that will make everything we want to make. So give that a little bit of time. Make some coffee. Or if you're brilliant, make some tea instead. Tea's for winners, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely for winners. Go grab some uranium out of your uh, concrete brick, you know what I mean? You got some concrete bricks. You got a concrete brick with uranium. Oh, my God. Actually, one time, one of my friends told me this story about how one of his friends got mailed a brick of uranium or something in the mail. And it's like... He got mailed a brick of uranium. What? Not like a brick of uranium, but like a concrete cylinder, which had when the guy opened it and and he he took a picture of what was inside. Uh, <laughs> what? He was like, uh, "Why is my camera doing this? My camera doing some funny nonsense or shenaniganery or something? A chicanery." Hold on. Okay. So keep in mind that when you do this uranium step. Shraranium. Perfect. Shraranium step. Is gonna need hydrogen peroxide to get the ingot to the thing, to crystals. Uh, now there's. That's the only way to do it. Change? I like that. I like that a lot. So, listen to the amazing dub step here. Oh yeah, this could be some sick, some sick beats if you just took it and made it and spliced it up a bit. Oh yeah, I'm really feeling this. Ah. So, um... Now what we're gonna do, take this to the H peroxide area. So H peroxide goes through here. Um, <laughs> take that coal. Nobody likes coal powder anyway. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's gonna go through there. And it's gonna come out of your Shoranium. Now what does Shoranium do? Well, when you run it through here, it's gonna give you nuggets. So we're gonna run it through there. 
because I don't want to run it. I'm too lazy to take it to the other machine, which is I'm waiting on the other machine. But I will automate this at some point to where I don't have to do a thing. Because doing stuff is not how you play Minecraft. You don't do stuff in Minecraft. You're supposed to do nothing and let all your machines do all the stuff for you. That's what I like about Minecraft. I don't have to do nothing. And I can just do absolutely... Yeah.